you come with an accomplished resume, state championship under your belt, but what prepares someone to take over a position when you have a coach who was successful turning this program around, unfortunately passing away? How do you come to grips with that and, and trying to rebuild what he had built? Yeah, well, ultimately, I think it just starts with uh, just me and it's my faith, you know, and just uh, being grounded in my faith and understanding how to connect with people. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. As a coach, you want to be able to connect with other coaches and the players uh, so that we can all be on the same page. And so just those leadership characteristics have been able to help us come in and, and kind of move things swiftly and getting guys going in the, in the right arrows. And uh, so far, things have been good. So talk about the, uh, the transition here and getting acquainted with the players that you have, a lot of skilled players at the key skilled positions. Talk about Cam and, and the receiving core that you have in that backfield with Wisdom Holmes. Yes, uh, so Cam, you know, Cam, he knows he's a three-year starter at quarterback, so it's always great to be able to come in a situation as a senior with that experience, uh, throws the ball well, can make every throw. Uh, you know, he's the commander and leader, leader and so he, he develops that. Um, and our receiver crew, you know, we got Isaiah Mobley, uh, you know, with several Division One offers. Um, and uh, and he's, Parkwood got in and out. We've got his brother here on staff, so that helps as well. Uh, and, and wisdom. I mean, you said it, and it's uh, he's an amazing young man. And it's just, it's a phenomenal that his name is Wisdom because he brings that every day. And he brings the wisdom. He's a humble guy. Um, you know. Um, it, it's smart and, and just a player, and he's just a, a bought-in player to the program. And so it's great having those guys keep guys on offense uh, to keep things going uh, for us and allow the culture that we're trying to create. They bought in, and they're actually pushing that to the other players. As we inch closer to the start of the season, and I know you know wins and losses are state championships. That's obviously the goal. But what are you looking for? You know, coming away maybe in that first quarter of games, those first three or four games in the season, how you'll feel good about what you see from this team on a Friday night? Ultimately, what we're looking for is 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 what what we call the lead you. And, uh, and our culture here is that. And so we want to develop leaders who are going to lead themselves, who are going to lead others in a positive way. And, and, and by doing that is uh, giving effort and accountability. And so we want to hold our players accountable, but we want to develop and equip them that they can hold each other accountable. So ultimately, that's what we're looking for. I feel like, like you said, wins and losses will come, but what we're looking for is our players to be a player-led team and to hold each other accountable so that we can have some success. And I think ultimately, once we have that, the success will come.